Ithrum received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself- Your hidden ally? Yes. As a West Saxon strong- If you go, do not go- I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in and then recite the a passage from their holy book. Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you- Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books one may find such wisdom. Or perhaps... I have nothing. Even the mighty fall. And God's servant, the Bishop Aylfirth, was mighty indeed in defense of his God. He was a man... He bathed in the river. So a gentle wash brings them closer to their God. Strong, meek as a lamb. But God called Aelfus to sit beside him. And Aelfus answered. His body... He rose from the dead. A nice trick, and not easily done. I give praise 
to such a man to keep safe. Their God brings them light, just as Baldur does. Light as bright as the summer sun. God breathed his on the mountain. The women came his res and Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in dark. Are the riddles That is not for me to decide, for I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow, I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle. Now all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. May Christ whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? I learned that my gods and yours inspire tales of equal amusement. They make me howl with laughter. A dull answer, but a battle-blunted axe may yet be sharpened. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this Order? Only this, and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs. Free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before. And many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive. Nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun. Before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my Reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King, but the day will come.
Someone disagrees with Alfred educating the people of Winchester. Papers thrown on the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, or the guards destroying evidence. What have we here? Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. A Dane in Winchester? These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the Protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let's go, before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls! I am grateful for your help. It's a brazen move. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every- I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name doesn't rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wheels words like an- A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop Aelfirth was the Sikhs. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. The gallows? What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. The gallows had you arrested, so he- Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester. Executing sinners on spurious charge- Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. You don't give me Elfred's jewel, I do. I shall be Let us go to Stuten! Go be from Urumbrocken! Stuten, Dwala! Do face the Nierunga! For Dane, yes, I'll help you. Good people of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effort. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aelfirth. Aelfirth was no man of God. <gasps> Your wife is a bang sh When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls- Winchester has passed judge- uh. Uh. You cannot slander and keep your tongue. They shall. Hey, Tamela. 
我操，再来一局，全能击杀。Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table. Where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of the order. Can you are all? I should meet with Goodwin. See what he has found on the quill. Like a young King Alfred, still crooked. A cheerful heart is good medicine. Magister batter as a horse's dangles. <laughs> and here is the axe I. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lesson. We have no subtle god. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps. I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy. <laughs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion. We all want better for our people, don't we, Avel? Yours and ours. The yep. quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle. In the quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more? I did. The quill is calling the children of Wind. Now we know why so many children scurry through the street. I can talk to some. See what. Good. Find me at the. We Norse are the monsters. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes, he hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it'll keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry little mouse, will you lead me to your quill? Come on. Ha! That showed them. Trouble seems. And I. I'm looking for the quill. Us? Working for the. Is that so? I am innocent as a lamb. They were the quill thugs, and you killed them. Wouldn't want to be in your boots. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and. So you're not work. We steal to stay alive. But you know where I can. They come up from the Skawan. Give her what you took. Good luck, Dane. Try. That's her! Dimwit Dane, Dimwit Dane, didn't guess the quills are she. Now, now, Elwyn. Few have the wit that you and I possess. A brood mare who preys on innocence and you brag about strength. How little you defend your mistress! Shame! Oh. Come, child. Coward! 
To educate, give me a chance. What use are letters? Well, I taught little Alwyn. If I could... But you can't. My order! And what would you? An immense... Not there in a pity. non requit Goodwin said to meet him at an alehouse nearby. Rest from rattling. I'm a bit dry over Rattle here. these bones instead, eh? Eivor! <laughs> is this where justice hi hides? Hides? Splood, no. This is a w You heard. Hilders were not the only eyes in Winchester. My sp I have been called... Be thou hail, Eildorbana. I said easy with my kinsbane. <laughs> if the mead is fresh and the... What does a reeve do exactly? Besides... I enforce and interpret the laws here. Not man's, but God's. Well, if... I must thank you before... It must be a sow... Are you sure this... The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs... I don't believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Over... Well, you could pay your respect. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's... Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. Okay. If the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Lord grant my brother Eilfer, eternal bliss, where joy endure. A stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn. Wember is always here, helping. The sleeping? Wember helps. You dig the graves. Have you seen Layoff? Layoff. Sleeping? Sleeping like my dog when I... Someone hurt Lay... Yes. Yes. Lord grant my brother Aelfa eternal bliss. Threadbare clothes. Did they belong to Wimber's friend? Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brothers. Have you no shame? I will leave you. Did you know Bishop Aylforth? Barely. But can you still smell the burned flesh? It's rife across the whole graveyard. The face is burned, and his clothes don't seem to fit his frail body. It could be Wemba's friend. And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Aylforth was a brute. This funeral is a shadow play. The Order killed an innocent, burned his face so no one could tell, and interred him in Eilfirth's place. His sister knows more than she lets on. What now? A pretty show you have laid on here, but I know the truth. You would dare speak to me? When my poor brother Eilfirth lies cold in his shroud? Your brother is the Sikhs. And no more dead than I am. Heresy. My brother was the... When Goodwin got too close to the truth about your brother's place in the Order, you buried him. Or rather, you buried another in his place. The poor gravedigger's friend. Burning his face so no... How did you... No, I... <laughs> How did you? <laughs> your brother is not in that crypt. I will not tell you any more. Guards! You still not. All right, all right. Have your way. They won't do you any good. Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, Cat and Mouse. He is a ghost now. Oh. He means to... Regicide? No. The king will step at... You are... So, where? The Sikhs must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelfirth is dead, <laughs> and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education. <laughs> You scheming Goodbye. 
How sweet is the shepherd. I was born to my mother would. Then your people can. No god. What? It may be Alfred. Alfred's god is my order wish. He takes on the robe. A wolf. One more g with my d Elfirth will not cheat like I owe you my An irony not lost on me. My king <laughs> will go by back streets to the old Elfirth, my love! No! Curse you, Dane! My brother served God! He wrapped himself in Shouldn't you rejoice at the death of a king? You are a heathen and a- We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. This is what? This is I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Toys of the Everything they did was to undermine Elfred. She lied to me. There is nothing here of the order. I should see Alfred for my reward. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my f Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Elf? That you did. But do not mistake necessity for f You are a man of your word. Indeed. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood soaked field. All you have to lose is. And if I choose neither. He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one. Yeah. You had your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Why did he run away? Because you all have such good taste. Now, this. I cleared Winchester of the order. Yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex. How very strange. Nah. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There are more medallions to collect. Huh. I have to go. Then go in peace. Good to see. The Order in Winchester has been wiped out. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The order won Alfred. The line between friend and Eivor. Has something happened? You will want to speak to him yourself. Come on. Eivor. The time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? 
My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the Hall of... If you wish to die... I do not speak of death, Eivor. I know I've been in a fog these last... But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage, back to Norway... Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. We'll leave now and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be. Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To so Norway, good. then. So strange. Let the sail out. Little has changed, but it feels unfamiliar. A few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. This is Harold's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father, his fool. Poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Alrek starts. It thrives. In spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you'll light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame Not until it burns. <laughs> what do you see? What was it Ranvi said? Our father spends his days in the mead halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the mead halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hall where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come oh. empty-handed. Not even Let a gift to offer. Rats there don't appreciate gifts. Raiders. They sn there you are. Go, Sunan. Appreciate gifts. They sniff and lift. Soaker, he's a you are a chipper. We should go. Look at him. Father. My son, Eivor, by Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest you? You robbed me of my wealth when you left for England. I presume you would do it again. Not my idea. You left us with nothing when you pledged for King Harald. We took only what we deserved. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To 
to say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible... And what have you done with yourself since? Drink heavily and weep for what- I have... I have worked hard to broker peace. I heard you sleep beneath Harold's bed, always at his back and call, and that he uses your gaping mouth as a chain. You make light of my service to a great and powerful man. Is that how- You pathetic- Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. Your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar... No. My father, he... He was... Uh... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense! Sigurd, from the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect... We will never know the truth. Because you were to... Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. 不愉快的对话，不知道发生了什么事情。他们好像还是怀恨在心。This sad business is finished. Good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may consider. I do not think you will. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. We have come a long, long way in search of a hazy vision, Sigurd. Be careful. Good Eivor. I would not lead you blindly into the unknown. Have faith that what I know is true, and where we go is real. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir. The branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Oh, oh, coming Let's go. How far? Oh, God. Norway. Hans Wall has not come back yet. 
Yes. Yes, this feels familiar. Eivor, we will press on. The rest of you, wait here. Baltoan. Kingdom of Snow! Sigurd, can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, the sting of ice on skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With this ship where we have mead and food to warm us? No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods! They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice. You need not fear the cold, Eivor. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. There. That frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? Ah, you will see soon enough. Too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! The ice looks fragile. Can you clear it? Yes. But I need to hold on. Later, it may happen to be something strange. Come on. Come on. Come on. 哇哦 ！My heart races. This is it. Glass. This door. Have you seen this before? The space above. The saga stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago. Yes. Now stand clear. Svakhoi nogvat uns membro trurvon di gvorde. Un solas vras gnogadide, un sum hujas reis derae chasaunsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place? Over here, this plate will lead us onward. Hoerasi. Sigurd. I don't know what to say. This is all so strange. Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. This vessel, was it crafted by dwarves? It is finely made, that much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. And this cavern... 
so deep and humming with magic. There, the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here, all the roots of life run together. The skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. There. Do you feel that? The sacred energies. I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. Is that... is that Svala? Belka's mother? How did she come to be here? <laughs> yes, it is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? What lies beyond all this? Where does this lead? Take your place at the center there, and you will see. Sigurd! Hail you givers. The guest has come. What is this place? There you are! Hail Dreyer, welcome! The Havi returns to lead us to victory! She can keep the best men off. Lead us to glory, Havi! We are proud to serve you, Havi! Wet my lips with another horn of mead, brother! Drink for strength! Fight for glory! Eivor, Tyr said you would come. Welcome. Are you... Are you Valka's mother? Svala? You have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived! Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your arm has returned, and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain, at long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle horn blows! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! 
go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. The strength I have! I'm tired of crushing mice. Oh, then this is oh, Sigurd, this place is incredible. Enough with those short flies. You and I must fight. The battle we never had. And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing. Spill the eternal blood of Valhalla. At last, I share the din of infinite battle with... <gasps> Brother! Worry not, Eivor. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. <laughs> the day is done. What just happened? The Havi returns to lead us to victory! <laughs> lead us to glory, Havi! We are proud to serve you, Havi! Wet my lips with another horn of mead, brother! Drink mm. for strength! Fight for glory! Yesterday is gone! Tomorrow- Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. A new day. to the marrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And <laughs> again it will... Ah! <laughs> Father, is that you? to lead us to victory. Skull! Skull! Take your horn. Join the battle cheer. 
dearest Skald of War. It is. Raise your horn. My father, Baron. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's... Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let's see... I saw you, father. Where are you? Show yourself. Lead us to glory, Javi! We are proud to serve you, Javi! Maybe I, sh I should take... Great warriors, off have you seen Varen? Who? Varen, my father. Yesterday is gone! Varen? Father! <laughs> I lose this fucking arm, I'll beat a man to death with it. Do you not tire of these injuries? Never. Wait, Father. Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense! I brought you someone. Look! My Eivor! There you are! What a warrior you have made of yourself! I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle? You remember how we fought, side by side, with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united? We fought, father. But you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wished to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you. No. He... This is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla. How is all this possible? How are the slain brought here? The Valkyries know this. Only them. No, that cannot be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look. No, they are not real. This place is a lie. This place can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. 
I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. I'd sooner call like a raven than... Illusion or not, no betrayal. You want this? I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left... I wish you well, Svala. I must find sick... the fucking arm Sigurd this is an illusion a trick no I I am somebody here powerful capable a god cows die the only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died in here you have no reputation but out there every day the same empty war you have known real battle brother it's time to leave Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? All right. We go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go. Why leave this place? A glory you fought so hard to find. Walk with me. I am humbled to walk with you, Eivor. Your reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. You are the wolf-kissed one, who lingered at the edge of death, yet fought back. You spilled the raven wine of battle, to paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still you came to his aid. You have felled many great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly bussing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet you question all. You question the very gods. <laughs> Fight me! Do not diminish yourself! 
Your corpse hall is nothing but a dream. Nothing but a dream. A dream is as real as anything in this world. Do dreams not inspire? Do dreams not make us fearful? Do they not push men to their greatest glories? Then I am done with dreaming. <laughs> Now, you are nothing. With me, you have wisdom, glory, power. What more do you need? Everything else. Are you with me? Sigurd! Ah! The Hanged One awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Eivor! Be careful! Basim! What is this? Come closer, Eivor. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Basim! For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth, that it was you. It was you I wanted all along. Did you track us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist. You broke all my hopes. He's mad, Eivor. Silence him! Come, Eivor. Come save your crippled prince of dead ravens. <coughs> You must suffer a thousand times what I suffered. What is this about? My son, Eivor. This is about my son. Let us 
make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Coward! Face me! Fight me here! Sigurd, be careful! He's coming for you! Oathbreaker! You'll die here! This brings me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. <laughs> I am your prize, Bassam. Come. You are indeed. <gasps> Will you not die? Not here. Not by your hand. You will again! It's fire! planning this treachery. I dare not guess. Gods! Am I to be hounded by a parade of blood-minded traitors the whole of my life? There is no end to this. You have something you want to say? Then say it. I... Uh, I... That man's anger. His rage. It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd. Without... I am not mad, Eivor. The... I know, brother. We should cast our eyes towards... Home. Eivor. On our journey, I cannot return to England with you. What are you saying? I know about you and Randvi. My lovers tryst in spite of me. I should challenge you for such a betrayal. But I'm... I'm not fit for such a fight. I... I understand. Is that all? When Dag called you out as he felt he must, you refused him honor, did you not? A cowardly act, one I abhor. Dag acted out of love for this clan. That is not worth the shame you inflicted on his name. I saw things differently then. And when I returned to the settlement, your pattern of disobedience continued. I believed you were wrong then. I still do. But my grievances go back further still. You stole my father's riches. 
my haste to leave, I should have stopped you then. A true leader would have stopped that thought before it took form. This is not a decision I make lightly, Eivor. But here, our paths must diverge. I understand your anger. I would, but there is no need to abandon what you have worked so hard. England is too infected with ugly memories. I will stay- Just as the prophecy warned me. Prophecy? Years ago, before we- A prophecy that I would- That for- You never told me this. And has your prophecy come to pass? I- I do not know. Well, I hope for your sake that you grow well- I will try. I promise.